Norath, welcome back to another episode of Saturday Night Grind, Level 65 Edition. This is Day 2 in the Southern Plains of South Karana, or whatever it's called. Southern Plains of Karana, I believe. We are trying to get that crazy Quillmain Clodic again. So, our last episode on Day 1... We were killing basically everything here in the southern portion of the zone. And I think today what we're going to do is pretty much just try to focus on cats and dogs. But, like right now, we are tracking an elephant, which is definitely something we want to try to get a hold of. So we have... Uh, Split Paul Null, Escape Split Paul Null, an Elephant, a Cyclops, and a Treant. Those are a couple other creatures that are on the spawn cycle. So we want to kill them, and then we definitely want to get the Knolls and the Lions. So behind us to the left. So we're just going to get those. We're going to Let's see what should we do let's let's do this let's set it to distance and uh, we'll just kill everything that's close to us to start with i know it just seems like this is one of those camps that you can be at forever and is it really all that great it's a pretty awesome item, and the location that I want to take the squad next, they need levitation to deal with that zone. So it's also really nice to have the ability, you know, for, for each character to be able to, oh, you know, that's something we need to do now that we're talking about that. To give themselves Spirit of the Wolf and to give themselves Levitate. And it'll be nice. Uh, eventually we'll work on items that uh, can do invis. So it's always good to have all that kind of stuff. There he is. Let's get this guy. Split Paul Null. You know, once they get higher level, what is it... Uh, I don't know, probably in the 80s somewhere. You know, you really start to be able to utilize to the left. Uh, utilize your AA abilities, which you get levitate, you get invis. But until then, it's nice to, to have those clickies. And we are not going to kill the Aviok. We're not going to kill the adult or bull elephants any longer. Just don't see that as being something that's going to get us where we want to be. All right, all of our, everything is a little bit too far away. So let's go back to normal. What spawned last? Let's go get that lion. Heading to the right. So it's just nice. I've uh, been grinding quite heavily lately. So this is a good break from that, even though it's a little frustrating running around to really no benefit. Uh, it would be great if some of these lions would drop the uh, high quality lion pelt so we could make a fleeting quiver, but they don't do that. That's uh, in North Row. No, not North Row. <laughs> North Karana. Or is it West Karana? I think it's West Karana. Yeah, it's the zone just north of South Karana. So, yeah. Head to the left. It's good. We want to stay in the south. Head to the right. There we go. There he is. We want to stay in the southern part of the zone. Anything below Split Paw, as we talked about in our last episode. There we 
got over here? What is that? Adult elephant. Okay. We're going to get this escaped split paw knoll to the right. And a little bit ahead to the right. There we go. Straight ahead. So like I said before, I was here with a different, with my main character and uh, thought about, oh, we lost our target. I wanted to do this off camera and have everyone, uh, the whole squad get their, get their cloak, but it's okay. This is fun too. Head into the right. Here we go. A lion. It gives me a break from just straight up grinding. And I'm sure, you know, these episodes aren't the most exciting. Just watching right now Drizette run around and really accomplish nothing. This is part of playing the game. This is this is a good time. This is EverQuest. It's not easy, and there's nobody running next to you holding your hand. Uh, aside from the internet now, <laughs> that really does help out quite a bit. But I've seen a lot of videos. Uh, I've read a lot of wikis. Nothing really gives you a definitive answer on how to make this crazy winged horse spawn you just run around like a crazy nut and eventually you kill something that makes her spawn head to the right this of course this line is walking away from me i bet I've done this before where, you know, you spend a day here. Eh, eh, look at that, walking away. Turkey. Uh, but that's it. We're going to we're gonna stick this out. Everyone is getting their cloak. I, during the anniversary, you can get the fabled version. It has more stats and it's just, it's the fabled version. But, uh... Oh, on those to the left. Uh, I just, I just don't think we're gonna do that. They have their fabled boots, uh, the uh, journeyman boots. It'd be nice to get the fabled Pegasus clothes, but I don't think we're going to, unless I can figure out how to do this. Which, it, you know, it doesn't have to be where you, like, you zone in and you get Quillmane to spawn, but it'd be nice if you could understand the the system, the method to the madness to that would make her spawn. And then you just you just know, okay, okay, I have to kill all these creatures and spend three hours here, and that's okay, that's fun. But when it's just such an unknown, it does get a little frustrating. There he is. All oh, these skeletons. What they're up to. We don't have time for that. Heading to the right for this lioness. And we are... We are definitely up in an area where we don't want to be, but it's hard because you want your creatures, your placeholders, to spawn in the southern part of the zone, but, you know, they have free will, and they are going to roam to the northern part of the zone. And as you're down in the south, just killing everything you can, your placeholder is roaming around on the north side of town. What is that? That isn't... 
Behind us to the right, we want this uh, mist wolf. Head to the right. So now that I'm picking, you know, specific creatures, now we're all over the zone instead of only killing things in the southern part of the zone, which, you know, I don't know. We'll find out which way is the best, and probably we'll just end up making it so that, all right, we're just going to kill lions and lionesses because we 100% know that those two are on the cycle. And eventually, if you have a placeholder that isn't a lion or a lioness, it'll despawn and it will respawn as a lion or lioness. The uh, elephant calf is also noted as being a placeholder. Yeah, and just, I don't know. It's just tough being up here killing stuff because I know that I need to be in the southern part, as you can see, where all of our little points are noted. The P for placeholder and X or Quillmane. I'm not sure why I didn't use a Q, but whatever. Oh, we got this, uh, we got another weird name to spawn. Should probably start killing them and then we could do our, let's take a look here. Uh, it's EverQuest and we wanna do Hunter down here to the southern plains of Karana. What do we have here? This guy, Quillman, dead, dead. Could have killed that one last episode. So this uh, Crackhurst, he's not, he's not, I think it's a name Cyclops. It's not part of the hunter, so whatever. To the left, here we go, or a lion. Where are we at? Oh boy. We'll get there. Sixteen minutes on Spirit of the Wolf, have to make sure that we focus on that. Can't be running around this huge zone without Spirit of the Wolf. Uh, did that a few times last episode. But, you know, Spirit of the Wolf is a much faster <laughs> than, than not. Uh, she's pretty slow. Let's see. Here we go to a lion. Whoops. We don't want that. Please stop doing that. Please stop doing that. Jeez. Let's move this up a little bit so we don't get that again. That was annoying. A line is straight ahead. Awesome. Going to the southern part of the zone. There it is. All right, a lion. That's it. Let's kill it. Whether that's it or not, we're killing it. That is it. The lioness. She just spawned behind us. We don't want that, but we're going to kill it anyway because that's what we're doing. We're killing lions and dogs. Cats and dogs. It's difficult because really anything can be a placeholder. We're 
go straight ahead. Now we're going north or south. Quite a large zone. I wonder what the. Uh, I guess we can figure it out. If you do like a stride of a regular person, it's about uh, when they're running like this. She's she's hauling about two and a half feet per stride. And you, it's difficult because you can't count. The noises that she makes because she makes a noise about every four steps are we at straight ahead to the right it would be interesting to run from one side of the zone to the other and count how many actual strides she does multiply that by two and a half feet well just go two feet that would that'd be enough all right i've been doing this too long now i'm just rambling about weird stuff here we go. We got a dog. We got a cat. Here we go. Got a lion. Just spawned. Heading to the right. See, now that's the problem. Not I have to go way all the way up here. Heading to the left. I don't know if it's better to track or to just run around and kill lions and dogs wherever they are instead of running back and forth from edge of the zone to edge of the zone. Behind me to the left for a lioness. Head to the right. Adult elephant, we're going to leave that alone. Straight ahead, here we go. He's around here somewhere. There she is. A treant. We have to kill this treant. I don't want to. But we have to. Because I know that is a weird creature that is on the spawn cycle. It's not on an exact spawn point from what I know, but it is spawning. Ugh. I just hate to see this faction hits. It's spawned here in the south part. That's what we want, and we know. Let's loot that. We need that if we want to do these uh, wood shards, I believe. You, those are the same ones you can get from jail over in Freeport when you want to make the True Shot Longbow. Hey, we've got Brother Quinn. For any monk who might be listening. Six months later. It's up. Straight ahead. Oop. Football no. Gotta kill him. Back at the lion. There 
he is. Alright, here we go. Just do a shadow wolf. Head into the right. Nine minutes on Spirit of the Wolf. that definitely needs a mount of some sort they have that uh, gnomish uh, flying contraption or something like that I'm not sure how to get that I know my main character has it I don't know what he did to get it pretty quick it is uh, noticeably faster than spirit of the wolf and he has the uh, what that journeyman achievement where you you go to a lot more zones. You just keep going, and the more zones you go to, the faster you run. So he has that, plus his AAs for journeymen or whatever. It makes him faster. So he's he's pretty quick, but then to the right. But that gnomish flying contraption or whatever is faster. To the left. There he is, just chilling. Sorry, dude. There we go. Escapes but Paul Knoll to the left. bit ahead to the left it's good we are still in the southern part of the zone that's where we want to be after a while everything starts to look the same until you see a landmark and you can understand where you're at There's a lioness about to take her out. There he is. Walking away from us. That's the worst on tracking when they're walking away from you. They're doing about half of your speed. It takes forever to catch up. Shadow Wolf. To the right. See while we're here, make sure no one else is here. All right, it's just us. That helps, especially when you eventually do get on the quilt main cycle and nobody else is killing stuff. To the left, just a little bit. There he is. What's that? Tooth, huh? Lioness just spawned behind us to the left. Straight ahead. There's 
not a lot going on with this camp. You know, you just have to stick with it. I don't know. It would be nice if you just knew the system. And you, you could just stick with it. It would be so much easier. Where you're just like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm in it for three hours worth of killing lions and dogs. And I know eventually Quilmain will spawn. That would be great. Right? There she is. You know, that would be really, really good. Guess it wasn't close enough. There we go. We got her. An adult elephant? We don't want that. Why we have so many centaur archers spawning all of a sudden. Oh, the lion is behind us. There he is. And another lion. Here we go. Double prizes here. We got oh, it's a centaur. Elephant calf, right on. That's what we want. To the right. Over here is not awesome. Heading to the left. So broken down druid ring. There we go. Another lioness. We got a lot of stuff spawning here. To the left. Everything is kind of digging this, you know, what is it? Uh, southeast corner. To the right. Walking up here in these wood or the the hills up here, there she is. The Cyclops. We definitely want to kill him. We know he's a weird one, and he's on the cycle. Let's see, I'm heading to the left. Straight ahead. That's cool. He's down here. He's in the southern part. There he is. He's off. Oh, row one. Got to hit range, not melee. Now let's hit melee. Let's take him down. There we go. That knoll, probably all the way in the north. Knoll is ahead and to the right. Of course he is. He's been running due north for the last 20 minutes. We'll get him though. Let's get back to doing our forage. 46, and she, she found something. Got some food. We have our auto forage button that says uh, doability. Let's see what do we have here. Forage. Uh, first line is well, we can just show you here. Doability one. Oh, it's a different split pole knoll, I think. Oh, that was it. Doability one. Pause five, and then auto inventory three times because as you get better, and if you do the AAs. You can find up to three things, so you auto inventory everything. And if you have Gina running, which I do not for the Adventure Squad, so it's more classic. Um, 
you can set up a timer to uh, tell you to forge again. Alright, we have a lot of weird things spawning. So I think we're going to go here to alphabetical. Or should we do distance? Let's do distance. And we will look for the first cat or dog. Or, you know, one of our other four wolf pup cub is not one that we're looking for when a lion a lioness a mist wolf a shadow wolf or then we have an elephant a treant a cyclops or an escaped split palm knoll that's what we're going to be looking for where are we on the map here okay we're not bad we're over by split paw shouldn't be any weird i mean we should have Did I say tree? I don't know if I did. That's on the list. So here we go. We just get to scroll down until we find the first one that's closest to us. And elephant. There we go. That's what we want. It is ahead and to the right. Of course it is. To the left. It was a little too right. I just don't know if the Avioc where the centaurs are really on the spawn cycle or not. And elephant, there it is right there. Head to the left, look at him, where's he going? Did he just walk past? Path and over split paw. It's always a good sign, but you never know. Mist wolf. There we go. Ahead and to the right. Too far right. To the left. To the left. Right ahead. There we go. him down. Treant. Let's do that. Ahead and left. It's promising. It's in the southern part of the zone. It's like, I don't know. Am I the placeholder? I don't know. Pretty neat. Got that little beard. Ooh, we got the shadow men. They're near us. go we got ourselves a lion lion on track behind us left ahead right head to the right we're killing a little bit less well actually we're killing a lot less than we were um on day one, but 
I don't know. I think the uh, the limited number of kills is better. Ahead and to the right for this lion. He must be passing over split paw. To the right. There, gee whiz. How do you not see him? I mean, he's like 10 feet away. If it was a real lion, we would have been attacked and killed. What do we got here? Crude Defiant Club. We don't care about that. Brother Darish. Here we go. Another lion. To the right. Let's get it. Heading to the left, there it is. All right, closest to here, our next target. And elephant calf behind us to the right there we go get that forge going again and of course look at that we missed our spirit of the wolf heading to the right There it is. Snare. <laughs> All right, let's hit melee. Let's not hit snare. We don't want to snare ourselves. We don't have time for that. No way, no how. Mist Wolf. Ahead, head to the right. A little bit more to the left, not as right. Mist Wolf is straight ahead. He is hiding. Same color as the stone here. There he is. Next up, escaped split Paul Knoll. Now this line is getting closer to us. Let's do him first. To the left. What do we have here? Bull elephant. We're going to leave it. Not going to worry about that. right head to the left there he is lion just working his way across the plains Ooh. he's out of here there we go and elephant calf to the left. Running by distance here uh, on track seems to, I don't know, it seems to be helping out a little bit. I don't know. Here we go. The lion. Ahead and to the right. Straight ahead. The 
lion that's behind us and to the left. So he's fussing around. There we go. It's hiding behind a tree as we ran by. Frick. Taking them down. Okay. Lioness. Behind us to the right. Straight ahead. All right, everyone, keep your eyes peeled. There she is. All right, put her down. An elephant calf, great. Right close to us, to the left. Hey, there it is. There you go. All right, let's go back to normal and see if Quillmane has spawned the last 20 minutes. <laughs> she has not. Got this lioness that just spawned behind us. We, uh, we don't want to go over here. Straight ahead. Who knows how far away it is. And this is how you can you get all out of whack. Because now we're killing creatures that are heading south. I spawned in the north, and that's not where Quillmane is going to spawn. So we're not going to do that. That's not her. Oh, sir, I don't know who he is. Straight ahead and to the left is a lion. Not in the southern part of the zone, but... Get it anyway. There's a hard part uh, of this, you know. There's like ten hard parts, but like, what what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? Should you just run around and kill every lion and lioness? Even though they come from the north. Or do you just focus on the stuff down here in the south? target really don't have anything to go kill let's get all the way in the south here maybe we'll run across something brother Quinn he's popped back up this split Paul Knoll what do we got the head and left let's kill him 48 forage
right ahead still for the knoll. Watch out for that tree. Heading to the right. Over here by the hermit hut. To the right. Probably right on the other side of this. Adult elephant, we don't care about that. There he is. This is where we want to be. We want to be in the southern part of the zone. This is where Quillman is going to spawn. These are the creatures that we want to kill. Heading to the right, which is elsewhere. Straight ahead. Looks like we're going to the west. Took down that lion, escaped split Paul No, Hopefully he's near here. Behind me to the left. We got over there. Whoa. Ah, oh, this is the uh, this is that one guy. Krakatusk. He's aggressive. Let's see, uh, he cons level 24. So we took him down. What does he have here? Gigantic chip tusk. What is that? Okay, it's for nothing. Fine feathers, we should loot those. All right, let's get back at it. Straight ahead. What are we looking for? Escape split Paul Knoll. Left, running up behind these hills. Right ahead and below, so he's right over here. We always track our our mobs down. Straight ahead to the right. Where is he? Is he probably coming this way? There he is. Hopefully we have a lioness ahead and left. A little bit to the right. Get that forge going again. 14 minutes on Spirit of the Wolf. 50 straight ahead and to the right oh, she's over here Mist Wolf. Straight ahead. A couple of elephants here. Not what we're looking for. Heading to the left. 
Gotta keep it going. Just keep looking for the track. Hunt these things down. Will main will spawn eventually. We have a lioness, a mist wolf, and another lioness that spawned. Hopefully we can get this mist wolf not too far away. All right, which we have wasted too much time on this one. To the left. Let's go to the lioness. Not going to run up into the northern part of the zone. All right, Lioness still straight ahead. course all the way over on the other side of the zone <laughs> one side to the other here we go a little bit ahead of me heading south There she is. Well, we have another lioness here. Right ahead, that's cool. What's that? Bull elephant, we'll leave that. Here we go. An elephant. Right ahead. If you're not killing a whole bunch of elephants, when you get an elephant, that seems a little bit more promising. Fours are going again. There we go. 51. Spirit of the Wolf. Nine minutes. And Elephant. Just chilling. There's this one. It's an adult elephant, so we'll leave that. Check our tracking. Nothing great. Huh. 
another adult elephant here. Boy, just leave that one. Boy, we really don't have a lot going on today. Like all the lions and stuff are up by themselves. Checking tracking here. Do we even have any lions? Let's go alpha. A mist wolf. That's it? That stupid mist wolf we were chasing way north. Behind us to the right. We don't have any lions or lionesses up. That's crazy. Heading to the right. The spopono. There we go. You shouldn't say split pole null because there is a split pole null. We need the escaped split pole null. Straight ahead for the mist wolf. And to the right. We're out here by the hermit hut again. <laughs> Heading to the left. What's he doing? To the left. Or is it? Did it go through the hermit hut? Oh, uh, of course. Uh, we're tracking a hermit. And we tracked the hermit right to the hermit. Where is that mist wolf? Uh, we're over here, so we can't see anything. So let's cancel this track. Do a forage. Let's see what our track is talking about here. Boy, there's just nothing on track. This is really crazy. Usually there's, I mean, just always, just a ton of lions and lionesses. I don't know, is this like a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> One of these things is the placeholder. The right, let's just get a shadow wolf. It's hard just after a while to just, you know, like, what do you talk about? There's a split pole, you know, there's a knoll, there's a tree. we at here shadow wolf straight ahead to the left let's I guess let's just do that one wow I mean it's just it's just really crazy because there's always lions and lionesses and they're always up Oh, 
to the left. Now I'm looking at tracking. I'm not even doing anything. So I wonder. We have that mist wolf as well. Shadow wolf behind us to the left. Let's be right over, going over split paw. There he is. So somehow. We have several bull elephants, and then we have several adult elephants. I wonder if they're connected with lions. You know, you get the adult elephants, the bull elephant. Maybe if you just kill the adult elephants, that helps spawn lions. That helps spawn elephant calves. Because we have a lot of adult elephants. And we're not killing any of them. So to me that is telling me. That they're connected. They have to be. You know they're placeholders for each other. Which in turn are placeholders for Quillmate. Okay, so that's uh, that is definitely something to look into for the next time. Kill more adult elephants. And with that, uh, we're going to call this episode an episode. And it was just another fantastic day of running around the southern plains of Karana. So, no Quillmane, of course. Um, but, maybe next time, that's what we'll get. Alright, thanks for watching.